Hello children, welcome to EVS class. In today's EVS class, we will start a new chapter, chapter number 17, Air and Water. In this chapter, we will learn about air, its properties and uses, water, sources of water and its uses. Air. What is air? Air is a mixture of gases surrounding the earth. It is present everywhere, even in the room where we are sitting right now. Look here children, the leaves of the plant are moving. Do you know why they are moving? It is because of air. Air is all around us. Children, is this glass empty? Can you see anything inside the glass? No, but you know children, the glass is not empty. It has air inside the glass. Even when we turn it upside down, the air remains in it. Children, even an empty box has air inside it. We cannot see it, right? Even water has air mixed in it. You can see the bubbles of air inside this glass. We cannot see air as it has no color. We cannot touch, smell or taste air. We can only feel it when it moves like when the wind blows. We can even hear the air when it moves very fast. Air causes breeze, wind and storm. Gently moving air is called breeze. We all enjoy cool breeze, right? Fast moving air is called wind and very fast moving air is called storm storm damages house and trees all living beings need air to breathe like human beings plants and animals we breathe air all the time through our nose we will all die without air so children air is an important part of our life now let us see the properties of air. The first property is air occupies space, which means that air can give shape to things when it fills up the empty space. But how can we say this? Let's do an activity. Deck a balloon and start blowing air into it. What did you notice? Yes, the balloon becomes bigger and bigger which shows that air occupies space in which it is filled. Second property of air is air has weight. For this, let's see the activity first. Take two balloons, one blue balloon and one red balloon. Children, we will fill air only in red balloon, all right? Now hang both the balloons on two ends of the stick. Now what did you notice? Yes, the stick which has balloon filled with air, that is the red balloon, weights more and goes down. This shows that air has weight. Third property of air is, air does not have a definite shape. It takes the shape of the container or an object in which it is present. Inflate the balloon with air or a swimming tube or say football, Air takes the shape of these objects. The fourth property is air is needed for burning. Children, let's fix two small candles on a table and light both the candles. Now cover one of the candles with a glass. Children, do you have any idea why did a covered candle die after few seconds? And why did the uncovered candle keep burning? The covered candle died after covering because of the absence of air. And the uncovered candle kept burning why? because of the presence of air. Therefore, this activity shows that air is needed for burning. Now children, let's see what are the uses of air. Air helps to fly an airplane. Air helps to fly a kite. 
Air helps a boat to sail. Air helps to blow a balloon. Air helps in filling up tires, footballs, and swimming tubes. Air also helps in lighting a fire to keep it burning. Now, things to remember. Plants and animals need air to breathe. Air is used in burning, flying, sailing, etc. Air is useful in many ways. Now children, let's do some exercise questions of this chapter. Exercise A. Tick the right answer. Number 1. We breathe dash always. Option A. Water. Option B. Air. Option C. Ice. Children, tell me which is the correct option. Yes, option B. Air. We breathe air always. Number two, we cannot touch, dash, or taste air. Option A, feel. Option B, hold. Option C, smell. Now, which is the correct option? Yes, option C, smell. We cannot touch, smell, or taste air. Number three, air helps in dash. Option A, Burning, option B, playing, option C, dancing. Which is the correct option? Yes, option A, burning. Air helps in burning. Now, number four, very fast moving air is called dash. Option A, breeze. Option B, wind. Option C, storm. Which is the correct option? Yes, option C, storm. Very fast moving air is called storm. Now let's proceed to exercise B, match the following. Children, from the given words, that is air bubbles, sailing, inflated tire, storm, we have to match the word with correct pictures. Alright, now the first word, that is air bubbles, which pictures show air bubbles? Yes, first picture and third picture on the right side shows air bubbles. So let's match it. Now next word is selling. Tell me which picture shows selling of boat or yacht. Yes, third picture on the left side. Let's match it. And second picture on the right side shows selling. Now the third one inflated tire. We will match the second picture on the left side with inflated tire. Now the last one, storm. Which picture shows storm? Yes, first picture on the left side shows storm. So let's match it. Hmm. So children, this was all about air. In today's topic of air, we have learned that air is an essential part of our life. So to keep the air fresh and clean, what we must do? We must plant more trees in our surroundings. Children, in the next EVS class, we will learn about water, sources of water and its uses. Alright?